Now, in the next module, we'll briefly talk about what a technologist should know here to set CT, but it really is CT and MRI technologists. Now, the first thing we need to appreciate is that for patients with malignant cardiac tumor, including those receiving chemotherapy, it can equate sick. Um, for radiology, if I had the choice to do a CT and MRI, I would definitely do the MRI uh, preferred. The reason for that is because MRI has a lot more flexibility to look at characterizations of the tissues of the tumor and therefore allows me to have a pretty good guess as to what the cell types would be. On the CT side, very rarely we can do that, but most of the time we just really just got the anatomic map about where the mass is, what is close to, and what structure is it in, in touch. The next thing we need to do um, is to make sure that the sick um, cardiac tumor patients can actually tolerate the MR scan. Um, in a moment, we're going to talk about that. So if you look at the um, polo call, it's fairly extensive and uncertain because some of those plain you don't know what you're going to do until you actually scan the patients. So typically, one of these studies can last one hour or more. So we really need to um, proactively figure out whether the patients can tolerate that kind of uh, length of examinations. You need to practice breath holds with patients. Um, uh, it's quite important, especially on the MR side, we're going to breath hold literally two or three dozens of times throughout the entire test. That patient will be able to breath hold and bring the heart to the same position every time when you hold the breaths. And for MRI scan, we're closer to the radiologist. Um, it is quite important that um, he's present, uh, or at least being able to communicate through some kind of PAC system. He needs to direct um, the imaging plane and the appropriate sequence on the fly based on what you have gotten the images before. All right. So ideally, he should be sitting next to you or the technologist and the MI scanner. He might add and subtract sequences depending on what transpired, what is the more or less likely of the tumor in evaluating. 